Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition, and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with a health challenge or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge you need help with, if you want to wean yourself or a loved one off your or their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have comments or questions about formulations, ingredients, health issues, our Truth Skin Health products, bone broth protein, anything we're talking about here today. And of course, if you have a success story, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com and order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And of course, if you're interested in checking out premium connoisseur, high-end, super dramatic, effective skin health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com, take a look at our retinol 5% gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm all made with 100% active and functional ingredients. No filler, no fluff, no wax, no oil, no silicon, no preservative, no fragrance, no water, no propylene glycol, no nothing but active materials and functional materials in our skin health products. You shouldn't have to pay for water or filler or wax, which is what 95% of most skincare products are. 95 to 99%, depending on what kind of products you get, are nothing but filler and wax and perfume and preserve. Do you really want to pay for 90% water? Do you really want to pay for vegetable oil? This is craziness. That's why I came up with my True Skin Health products, which are connective tissue building products because much of the signs, the visible signs of aging are really about the connective tissue. And that is what we have been talking about here on the Bright Side, the connective tissue. And for good reason. Not only is the body mostly made up of connective tissue, maybe 30% or so of the body, 25 to 30% is connective tissue, but even more importantly, the major site of injury and disease in the body is to the connective tissue. The connective tissue is also a source of electrical energy. It provides electrical energy for bodily movement, adhesions and scars, and fibrosis not only cause pain, but they impede the flow of electrical energy. From a fundamental perspective, this depletion of electrical energy is the physical basis of all disease. We become electrically deficient. We become deficient in little pieces of electricity called electrons. These little pieces of electricity flow and are stored in the connective tissue. Once the connective tissue breaks down, once the connective tissue deteriorates, 
when the connective tissue becomes inflamed subsequent to that breakdown and deterioration, when the connective tissue becomes fibrotic subsequent to the inflammation, which itself is subsequent to damage, electrical energy is impeded, and we already have a depletion of electrical energy. Electrical energy is supposed to come into the body through food. One of the biggest problems, maybe the biggest problem with processed food is that it is electrically depleted. Cooked food can be electrically depleted. We are subsisting on electrical, de electrically depleted food. We have separated ourselves from the electrical energy of the earth by living in cities and wearing shoes. Later on, uh, probably later this week, we'll talk about barefooting, which is a great way to increase electrical energy into the body and into the connective tissue. We become electrically depleted. This is a source of disease. When our connective tissue breaks down or our connective tissue is somehow traumatized or wounded, this also imp impedes uh, electrical energy. These are the sources of disease, folks. This is how we break down. This is how we die. This is how we suffer physical misery. It's not, this is nothing that a doctor can do anything about. And I'm, you know, I'm guilty of ripping on the medical model and ripping on doctors as much as anybody, but it's not their fault. This is what they're taught. They're taught to manipulate and cut and tinker with the body. They're tinkerers. Well, you know, tinkering is great if you're working on your car, but it ain't great when you're working on the body. Cutting and carving and tinker, uh, tinkering and jury rigging, this is ridiculous, Idi uh, an idiotic way to treat health and to treat the body. The connective tissue is what holds everything in place. And once this thing breaks down, we break down. Once this thing is traumatized, we're traumatized. The connective tissue is it's the evidence, the physical evidence for the unified nature of the body. The connective tissue, the very name connective tissue, tells you that it connects everything. It pulls everything in the body into a unified whole. And this unified whole is really what health is about. Health of our body and health of our planet and health of our world. Just like the diseases we face as individuals are issues of the connective tissue, they're connection issues. This is just like the, our health problems are connection problems in the sense of the connective tissue. In a big picture way, our political problems, our environmental problems, our economic problems, our social problems as a culture are also the result of a disruption in connection in the invisible connective, uh, connective tissue, if you will, that holds everything in place in our culture. Our environment, the world around us, is linked to us via invisible connections. And we think it's okay to throw our garbage in the ocean or drop depleted uranium on villagers in Yemen or some foreign unknown country because we don't see that we're all connected. We don't see connections. We think it's okay to marginalize people who have a different religion or a different race or a different sexual orientation or we uh, build walls to keep people out or keep people in because we don't see connections. We don't see the connections in our bodies. We don't see the connections with each other. We don't see our connections with the environment we live in. And we go through our lives this way. We go through our lives in this delusion of separation. This is what Albert Einstein was thinking when he said, reality is an illusion, albeit a persistent one. I love that quote. Reality is an illusion, albeit a persistent one. Our world is illusory. We don't see what's really there. And some of it is because we're stuck in our perceptions. At the as soon as we're born, we're really stuck in our vision. We are, that's the most prominent of our senses of the world, and the visual field makes everything seem distinct. Looks like there's all kinds of distinctions, books and papers and, and, and pens and pencils and tables and chairs and people, and everything we see in our visual field seems to be distinct, seems to be separated. But in reality, everything's linked, everything's connected. Think about it, even though when you're looking at the world, it looks like there's all of these different things in the world, all of these different elements in our visual field. Actually, when you think about it, it really is one visual field. And yes, it may have separate components in it, but the whole thing is one unified field. That's what a field is. A field is defined as a region where all the points are linked as a whole. In sports, you have football fields and baseball fields. A football field has all these different things in it, but it's one big field. Field theory is, was one of, the, one of the greatest advances in the history of man, field theory. When they discovered that we live in an electromagnetic field at the end of the 19th century, that blew the doors off of technology. 
everything we see as distinct and separate is really linked together as a whole. And understanding this is a key, not just to physical health, but to cultural and societal health as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Also, my buddy Kevin Peterson. I know you're out there in Moscow. My friend Kevin, he puts up... uh, uh, he's been putting up uh, the radio program commercial free on Facebook, so you can check that out as well. If you miss a program, you can search at brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com by topic. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up at uh, benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join me in my mission to help spread the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be, if you want to make some money, if you're entrepreneurially minded, and uh, you like the sales business, the entrepreneurial lifestyle, which I love. I've been an entrepreneur pretty much my whole adult life. It's freeing. It's liberating. You don't have to listen to a boss. You don't have to show up at a, a certain time at work. You can work at home. You can work in your underwear on the Internet these days. You could do all kinds of stuff out of the house. And longevity provides you with a framework. Longevity provides you with a structure, an infrastructure, with a with a, 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 not just products, but a logic, a sales logic, a raison d'être, a reason for being in the business, being in the world. That is to help people to change lives. If you're interested in joining me, I've been doing it now with longevity for almost 20 years. If you're interested in joining me, please go to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and you can sign up right off the website or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're talking about connection, connective tissue. Connection is, I just love that idea that we're all linked into one field. Albert Einstein, quoting Albert Einstein again, he talked about, he said, the field is the governing source of the particle. It's all about the field. It's all about what we're living in, the context we're living in. Everything we see as distinct and, and separate as it seems is really linked as a whole. If we, we can see this if we, uh, if we observe, when we're looking out, if we observe spaces between things, we'll notice that there seems to be, if you look at it just right, at the spaces between objects, you'll see there's kind of a, a link between everything. This is called open focus. A guy named Les Fermi wrote a really cool book called The Open... Uh, shucks, I forgot the name of it, but it has open focus in the title. The Open Focus Method or something like that. F-E-R-M-I. Fermi. And he talks about how when we look between things, when we look at the connections of things, we actually activate our alpha brain waves, our relaxing brain waves. Alpha brain waves are associated with relaxation, beta wa- uh, brain waves are associated with with us focus closed focus attention we go through our life looking at objects but not the spaces between objects and according to Les Fermi uh, this causes us to be in this beta neurology this beta nervous system the a, a beta brainwave state that is associated with attention and focus but also associated with stress we can relax by looking at the connections between things by activating our alpha brainwave state get this book uh, the Open Focus Method, a uh, guy named Fermi, F-E-R-M-I, who wrote the book. Really, really interesting book. I've been talking about it now for a while. You've probably heard me say this before. Anyway, the space between things, the connection between things. This, this reveals the link to our, uh, to, uh, to our environment, to each other, really. Not to mention, when we see the connections inside the body, we'll understand how everything is put together more effectively, and we'll understand why we're not feeling as well as we should be. The space between is the clue. The space between is the clue to, to breaking, this, breaking this spell, this idea that we are separate. Interestingly, the word sin, S-I-N, means separate, means without. It means you, you're somehow disconnected. Relig, religion is about connection. Relig, to reconnect. Lig, for, lig means to connect. Relig, to reconnect. To find wholeness again. In the body, we, uh, we see the body as separate from the mind. Not just separate internally, we, we see the body as separate from the mind. We lose our power physically when we don't see how our mentality, our mind is connected. By mind, I'm talking emotions and thoughts. We don't see how our mind is linked to our bodies. And we're not even taught that. We're taught that that's silly. 
we're taught to disconnect our mind from our bodies. This is the original, they call that, the, this, they, uh, philosophers call this the Cartesian split. The Cartesian split after this guy Descartes, mathematician from the 17th century, I believe, or 16th century. Uh, he said, I think, therefore I am. You probably heard that. That was the first time the mind was separated from the body, that we had this idea. And this is how medicine was born. Modern medicine was born in this context, this, uh, this historical context where the mind was separate from the body. And to this day, it's considered wacko. Not so much anymore. But by, oh, I'd say the majority of physicians, of medical people, think that this mind-body link is woo-woo. It's not woo-woo. We're encouraged to think of this because this takes our power away. If we understood the placebo effect, which is the classic example of mind-body medicine, the placebo effect is when you think you take a medicine and you get better. How do you like that? You think you take a medicine and you get better. What is that telling you? You're thinking your way to better. It's not even the medicine. It's the thinking. We, and so what they do, what the drug companies do, is they filter out the placebo effect. They throw it out. They account for it somehow by doing double-blind studies. We shouldn't be accounting for it. We shouldn't be filtering it out. We should be figuring it out. What the heck is going on with the placebo effect or the nocebo effect? The nocebo effect is when uh, uh, you don't take a drug or you don't take a substance and you get better. In any case, there are these mind-body linkages, these mind-body connections that are another way that everything is unified. We think of the body itself internally as fragmented. This is a huge problem. We're encouraged to think of all the components as being separate. We think it's okay to have our thyroid taken out. It, you understand the wholeness of the body. Not only will you not think it's okay to have your thyroid out, you will laugh at any medical professional who tells you, oh, you have Graves' disease, we gotta take out your thyroid. Oh, you got, gall, you got gallstones, we gotta take out your gallbladder. Oh, you got uh, pelvic pain or endometriosis, we got to take out your uterus, and you don't need that silly thing anyway. And oh, by the way, your breasts, just in case, we're going to take those too. This is absurd, but the only way, the only way we can think that this is okay is because we see the structures and the components as being separate. That's why we think it's okay to have these things taken out, to be healthier. We think it's okay to ab ablate the heart, to, to burn the heart, to cauterize it with an electrical current. Can you imagine this, people? To cauterize the heart with an electrical current. Your doctor is not uh, an idiot. He's not evil. He's just been hypnotized to think that you cauterize the heart. Of course you do because the heart isn't connected. Yes, he knows it's connected, but he doesn't see the holistic nature of the body and all its components. So ablations and radiations and poisoning, all in the name of health. Ironically, this is the, the most ironic thing, the word health means whole. Health comes from the old English uh, uh, root hal, H-A-L, hal, from which we get the words health and whole and hail and holy. Healing is restoring the body back to wholeness. It's restoring the body, body back to a sense of coherence. So even etymologically speaking, health is about connection. Health is about wholeness. And dis-ease is about fragmentation. Dis-ease is about separation. Separation activates the fear response. And because the only thing we fear is that which we don't know, when we're separate from something, when we don't recognize something, when we don't know something, we go into fear, and fear precedes all sickness and chronic disease. Fear in the body and fear in the mind as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we will be back right after this. We're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, let's see. I think I am going to continue talking about this nature of the connection, the nature of the, uh, this connected nature of everything, especially of the body, tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll continue talking about the electrical nature of connective tissue. And then we'll talk about coenzyme Q10, which we left off on our last program discussing and the heart and we'll talk about fascia uh, which is a very 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 fascinating part of connective tissue and then we'll talk about uh, uh, barefooting 
which is really interesting. Barefooting is a way of tapping into the earth. Uh, we'll talk about this in the. Uh, we'll be talking about this in the coming days. On the bright side, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Uh, we'll get your calls here in just a quick sec. A couple of interesting articles I want to tell you about. Uh, first one here: nutritional supplement promotes healthy aging. I love this. Vitamin C, beta carotene, vitamin E, selenium, and zinc versus placebo was uh, uh, was assessed, or placebo was assessed. Uh, and what the researchers came up with, what the researchers uh, figured out was that supplementation, this is a quote, supplementation with moderate amounts of antioxidant nutrients may promote healthy aging in men. Well, we all know that if you're listening to The Bright Side. Antioxidants, by the way, can be thought of as electricity. That's what antioxidants are. When we talk about the connective tissue and how it's generating an electrical charge and disease is a deficiency in electrical energy, what we're really talking about is free radicals. Electricity or electrons, pieces of electricity, are nature's antioxidants, especially when they come from the earth. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Nolita in Texas. Good morning, Nolita. Welcome to the Bright Side. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. What's up? Hello. Um, um, I'm calling you because I have developed a, a rash after ah. eating fermented food. Okay, that can happen. So there I'm are some... wondering what, why. Well, there's some compounds in uh, fermented foods that can be allerg- uh, can stimulate allergic reactions. Fermented foods, at the end of the day, are living materials. They're bacteria. That's what fermentation is about. It's about growing bacteria. Uh, so if you have a sensitivity of some sort, uh, you may have a problem with that. You may want to mix, try different types of fermented food. That's one thing you can do. Uh, sometimes it might be a particular type of bacteria. Also, what you might want to do is you might want to figure out if you're already prone towards allergies. Do you have stuffy nose or, 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 or are you snotty or mucusy no. or any of that stuff ever usual? No? No. Nothing? No, no. Your health is perfect? Everything good? Um, I mean, I've never well, had allergies that I know. I mean, Well, tell me what else. Tell me what's going on, Olita. What other health issues do you have? Well, I have, I have hypothyroidism. All right, there you go. That's all you need to know right there. I see. Here's the thing. We, th- we think it's the problem is the problem, but the problem isn't always the problem. It's a problem beneath the problem. You, does that make sense? Yeah. I, I was kind of being a little facetious there, but you know what I mean. Yes. What we think is the problem is not the problem. That's the symptom. Yes. The problem is underneath. Your metabolism's whacked out. All right. If you're hypothyroid, that means you've got digestive issues and blood sugar issues. The thyroid is the third point in the triangle of disease that we always talk about. So your power here, my dear, is going to be to work on your health. And remember, this is what we talked about at the beginning of the program. The whole thing, the whole package, not the target, not the individual isolated disease state or pathology or breakdown, but the body as a system. You follow me, Nolita? You understand what I'm saying? Your yeah. doctor's not going to tell you this. You're going to go to a histamine specialist or a yeah. food specialist. You go to some kind of specialist for taking care of the problem, a thyroid specialist, an endocrinologist. But the problem is in the system. Start with the digestive, digestive tract always. Now, you're doing the fermented foods. That's good, uh, but you're reacting. So maybe do a probiotic supplement for a little bit, okay? Yeah. Get on a really good probiotic supplement. Did, are you on one or have you been on one? Yes, yes. Did it cause any problems? No, I actually changed brands. Uh, they told me to take the Prescript Assist. Uh, well, I don't know the brand. I don't know that particular brand, but you'll, with probiotics, you do have to experiment a little bit. Okay. I'd be looking for food allergies also or food intolerances. Okay. You know, foods that make you – it's everything we talk about here. Number yeah. one, fast or do a Swero-V cleanse. You get Swero-V from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470. Do a, a swear OV cleanse, or you can do a total fast. When you start eating again, keep very close, uh, pay very close attention and keep a food diary. And notice problem foods. And then you're going to eliminate those foods. Once you start to get a list of foods you can eat, then you're going to focus on those foods. Use bone soup, vegetable juices. Uh, try to find some fermented food, I would, that you can use. If you, I'm sure there might, once you start strengthening things out, you probably notice that you can use fermented foods a little bit more readily. It's a little easier for you to use them. And then uh, do things that coat the digestive tract. Hyaluronic acid, algaes, aloe vera. Uh, use glutamine supplements. There's so many things you could do, but you're focusing on digestive health. The second thing is your blood sugar. Stabilize your blood sugar. Can I ask you approximately how old you are, Noelia? Uh, 44. 
Okay, good. Are, are you, uh, are you, did you notice any weight gain the last 10 years or so around your belly, around your hips, uh, blood no. pressure issues, anything like that? You're low, st- you're low the same- pressure. W- low blood pressure? Yeah. Too low or just low? Yeah, too low. Too low. Okay, well, that's a sign of, that's a sign of hypothyroidism, absolutely, yeah. and it's a sign that there might be some liver issues. So I'd be focusing on the digestive system and the blood sugar system. That's where I'd be paying attention. Yeah, well, All right, I've got to motivate Nolita. Have a beautiful day. Okay, Good thank to talk you. to you. Okay, okay, take care. Bye-bye. All right, Pam in California, good morning. What's going on? Hi, Ben. Good morning. This is Pam. Good. Hey, Pam. Hi. A um, couple things. I have a book to recommend, and also I wanted to ask you, have you ever thought of making um, some type of lotion or cream for the body, not just the face? Because I Here's was- the thing. Here's the thing. I don't like putting fillers in my products. This is I one know. of this is I hate I think it's so rude that companies do that. To do a lotion, the best way to do a lotion is to use one of my products, but then you have an issue with the spreading. So do it when you come out of the shower. The other only other way is to wet put make your product 90% water and I I refuse to do that. I just won't do that. I'm not going to make a product that's 90 to 95% water. I, I, I as a consumer, I'm offended by that. As a consumer, as a human being, I'm offended by that. That's why bookkeepers are in the business and marketers are in the business. They see, they see dollar signs, and it's not fair. To do a lotion, you do have to do that unless somebody is, is willing to take the time, Pam, to use something like my True Serum on their body when they come out of the shower. Because I, the sp- I do, but it doesn't last very long. It's, it's, I know, and it's pricey to do it on your whole body. It, it Absolutely. Is, and I, Put and it in your favorite lotion. That's, okay. the be- that's the best I could tell you because I don't want to make I, – I probably will make some kind – I'm trying to figure out how to make a lotion that doesn't have a bunch of filler in it that's all active but that spreads. And I'm, I'm working on it. I have a non-compete from when I sold my business, so it limits me what I can do till next July. But after that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start going crazy. I, I've I, had so many women ask me because I've told, told them about your uh, truth product for the face. But every one of them has said, well, is there one for the body, too? So, um, put, your, put some true serum in your favorite product. You know, that's the best I could tell you. Or, or shake it up in some water. And then uh, that's really what you should be doing. Add your own water if you want to, if you want to have something spread. Okay. How's your skin doing, by the way? Oh, my face looks wonderful. Oh, you want that for your whole body now? Come on, splurge. Treat your body right. It's all skin. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Thank you for your call, Pam. Well, I appreciate one, 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 it. One oh, yeah? question. Yes. Have you heard of uh, Donna Eden, Energy Medicine, the book? Uh-uh. I'll, t- oh, I'll look into it, though. Good. This woman is the go-to expert on everything energy medicine. Uh, it's ha- 300. She has tape. Hang on, Pam. Book. i got to take a break. i got to take oh. a break. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. All right. If you're on hold, hang tight. I will get to you when we come back. Uh, don't go away. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We shall return right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Uh, Pam in California. Pamela, yes, are you there? Hi there. I'll, Let's I'll go real quick because I got to get. I want to get to a bunch of calls here. What's well, the name of the book? It's called Energy Medicine by Donna, D O N N A Eden, and it's the go. I will look into she, it. Oh my God! And you, she talks you, a lot about food, how, how you can learn to energy test your food. That's very interesting. And I'll have to take a look at this. In, and it's based on the latimus dorsi muscle, which is oh, the, well, the old latimus dorsi. How, do you like all the stuff we're talking about here about energy uh, medicine? I love it. I love oh, it. Oh, good. Okay, good. All right, cool. Thank you for your call, Pam, and I'm going to move on. Thanks so much. All right, let's go to Ben in Florida. Good morning, Ben. Welcome to The Bright Side. Uh, uh, ben, thank you and Dr. Wallach for uh, basically curing my grandbaby. Uh, my, the baby was diagnosed with trisomy 18. Oh, and, I, uh, when, the, when the baby was born, the doctors were baffled. Uh, there was no sign of trisomy 18. Uh, during the pregnancy, my they recommended even abortion, uh, you know, for the baby. But in any case, the, the, there was no sign of trisomy 18. Thanks to you and Dr. Wallach, uh, my daughter followed your protocol. Which protocol? Uh, Which one? What did she do? Uh, 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 healthy brain and start pack. The uh, immortalium. The nice. uh, beyond tangy tangerine. The. She did this uh, while she was pregnant. In other words. 
Exactly, exactly. That's exactly. awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good news. Thank you. Uh, is, is that what you want to say? You, yeah? Okay. Okay. Now, now the baby, uh, you know, was, was born, uh, you know, without Trisemi 18, but, but they, they said that there was a small problem. Uh, there was a small patent foreman overlay overlay with uh, left to right shunting, peripheral pulmonary stenosis, and they said qualitatively normal biventricular systolic function. Okay, hang on, hang on. She's got heart and lung problems. Is that what you're telling me? I guess that's what it is. I, you know, okay, they said well, that's what it sounds it may like. Be normal. It may, they said it may, may be normal, and the baby might grow. Here's out what of you got to do. Morning. You got to build the baby up. That baby's got to be a, a a little baby Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I'm saying? I, and I'm not talking about the muscles. I'm talking about just making the body strong. That means this baby has a very narrow window of, uh, in terms of what they can tolerate in, in the way of toxicity and sugar, number one. You follow me here? So yes, yes. your baby has to do everything I have to do and you have to do, but more intensely, with more vigilance, with more focus on what's called anabolism, which is building and uh, focusing on reducing uh, any th or, uh, limiting or, or reducing or uh, uh, eliminating anything that causes some uh, burden on the body that will uh, uh, that will deprive the body of building resources. Does that make sense? Yes, you follow me. Yes. That means if he's got any issues with digestion, you got to correct the. It's the same thing, you guys. I don't want to. You know, I hate to keep repeating myself, but it really is the same thing. You follow here? It, he's got to do what an old man with arthritis has to do, this baby. Is it a baby boy? A girl. A girl. A baby girl. She has to do everything that an old man with arthritis has to do. Do you follow? I'm, I'm being a little facetious, but, but basically it's the same idea. You've got to build this baby up. That means if breast, is mom breastfeeding? Yes, yes. Mom has zero tolerance for any toxicity herself. She's got to be very careful with her sugar. Now, babies do need sugar, uh, but not, not glucose sugar, not the sweet sugar, but uh, babies need um, uh, brain sugar, which is going to be in the breast milk. So uh, keeping the baby's intake of glucose and fructose down, sweet foods, uh, mom, sh that, mom will filter that out. But as the baby gets off, is weaned, keeping her intake of sugar down, making sure she's using, getting enough protein. Mom is getting enough protein now. Uh, mom should be using zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. Mom should be using iodine every day, 25 micrograms or so, iodorol. Um, uh, let's see what else. Uh, essential fats, absolutely vital. EFAs, omega-3 EFAs from fish. General nutrition, my friend. All right, I got to move on, Ben. Thank you so much for, for your call. I hope I helped you out, bro. Yes, yes. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, oh, God bless you, my friend. Let's go to Ed in Oregon. What's going on, Ed? Good morning. Good morning. Well, Good morning. Well, about six months ago, uh, about six months ago, when I had the flu, I skinned my right lower leg on the outside. I had on the front, and it swelled up, and it had red spots as well. It went all away, and everything was fine. And now it's swollen up and got the red splotches again. Uh, swollen spontaneously? You didn't hurt it or anything like that? Just it just started swelling? No. and Yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. an internal, that's a blood issue. Something's getting into your blood that's stimulating an allergic response. And there's only one way that can happen, my friend. And if you've been listening to this program for even one day, you'll know what I'm going to tell you. It's coming in through food, unless you're an IV drug user, which, you know, no. don't sound like one. So uh, it's food. So you've got to link it to problem foods or problems. Where you can find, look for digestive health issues and link those to problem foods. Foods is the key. And that means, in addition to foods, also strengthening the digestive tract with probiotics, good bacteria, uh, all the nutrients that we talk about for patching up the gut, patching up leaky gut, glucosamine, cartilage, hyaluronic acid, uh, the amino acid glutamine, aloe vera, noni, algae, the fucoidin. All of these have a coating, soothing, and building effect on the digestive tract that will keep, out, uh, that will, uh, keep toxins out of the blood. This idea of toxins in the blood is not poetic and rhetorical. It's literal. Little pieces of food get into the blood. They're called microparticles. They initiate all manner, all kinds of immune responses, everything from autoimmune diseases like lupus and scleroderma and, and type 1 diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis to uh, uh, skin problems, itching, rashes, dermatitis, eczema, 
Blood clotting can be caused by this, ultimately leading to heart disease. This is the fundamental key to how the body breaks down. Yes, the connective tissue is involved, uh, of course, and the biochemistry is involved, but all that is secondary to the problems at the level of the gut, this whole notion of leaky gut syndrome. You don't need to be tested for it, folks. If you have, first of all, if you have any chronic illness, you got leaky gut, period. And that includes hypothyroidism, by the way, or, or metabolic issues, other metabolic issues, chemistry issues. But everybody has a degree of leaky gut because of how we live our lives, how we eat, GMOs, antibiotics in, in milk and meat and, and in uh, fish, and antibiotics as prescription drugs. So we all can assume we have a degree of leaky gut, and all these health strategies will help everybody, but especially if you're sick and dealing with a chronic illness. All right, does that help you? Uh, Mr. Ed in Oregon? Yeah, you were great. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Ha have an awesome Bye -bye. day. Talk to you. All right, buddy. Uh, Wes and I, good morning. What's going on? Yeah, pharmacist Ben. Yes, sir. Living in Colorado, you should be able to give me a really good report on this one. Run from the cure. Rick Simpson, high THC hemp oil. Why can you tell me about it? Uh, I, I can't tell you about the book. Is uh, the I, I got two books now. I got to I got to look into two books. Oh, by the way, the book I was telling you earlier is called The Open Focus Brain by Les Femi. A F E H M I, not Fermi. F E H M I. If you're interested in checking that out, I'm sorry, Wes. Uh, the book is called Run for the Cure. Uh, it's no Run from the Cure. It's about a ten year old video for the. Five minutes that's on YouTube is about Rick Simpson and his high THC hemp oil as opposed to uh -huh. high CBD. I've it's heard of it. Yes, I've, I think you may have told me about it. Somebody on this program told me about it earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, I have not looked into that, although I know there's some absolutely mind-blowing uh, literature that supports the use of CBD. I did hear about Rick Simpson's non-CBD THC. I think I may have read about him on the web, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, he has a high THC oil versus a high CBD oil, correct? Correct. Yeah, the problem with THC is it's illegal. Well... That's a little We're bit of a problem. Get over that. Uh, <laughs> I, I know, know, but it should, it, sh it should be, and you know, it, sh Rick it should be legal. It should be legal. I don't think it's anybody's darn business. To, uh, we don't need the government to help us out here, okay? The and government should know, be the, printing the money and defending the borders, if the that. You know, supposed to be our servants. I know. Well, what is this idea? We, you ever, uh, you know, I'm, I don't mean, I don't like to get too political on this program, but I do have some, some ideas here. We're, listen, the government's job, the government's job is not to regulate things like hemp and grass and, and weeds. This is absurdity. But anyway, I've got a great CBD oil at brightsidehealth.com and I put it up there because I saw personally these amazing results for people with anxiety and people with pain and people with seizures. Brightsidehealth.com. Check out our CBD oil. Wes, I got to go. Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate that. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you, friends, for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com. If you want to take a look at our Bright Side health products, including bone broth protein and our CBD oil for pain. I've seen the results myself, folks. I wouldn't put it on my website if I didn't. I had to put it on my website. Uh, uh, you can check it out at brightsidehealth.com. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more awesome health information. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.